I don't mind. At least you've okay. told me, so I know there's an issue. And if you can't make it, just say so. We can cut the lesson short. Okay. Okay, so how was your day besides the stomach cramp? Okay, I just learned my lessons. I just have the stomach just about 15 minutes ago. And I don't take the karate class today. Okay, so you didn't do karate because of your stomach cramps? No, because I forget to to bring the suit to school. So did it at school. Oh, okay. That's fine. <laughs> so you missed um karate for today? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Well, today I got new work for you. We have finished talking Trinity completely. So we are on something new. Let's show you. Okay. Complete preliminary for schools. Or PET. I learned, I learned I it. Did you do this? Yes, I finished it two years ago. Two years ago. Okay. I did not know that. This is the work that I was given from my boss. So I will speak to her this afternoon after our lesson um, and ask her to give me something else. But then I need, I think she needs to speak to you so you can tell her what you have done and what you haven't done. Okay. But because you did this two years ago, let's start it. So that we have something to do for today. Um, and then on Sunday, I'll hopefully have different work for you. Is that okay? Okay. Okay. So what we need to do here. Why are you not pleading? Okay. This says my life and home. Okay. So what does this look like here? What are all these pictures? They say about wait. They say about the things in someone's bathroom. Bedroom. Yes, bedroom. So it's four pictures and it's four different bedrooms. Okay. So yeah. now the picture shows us four bedrooms. Now, what can you see in this bedroom? What does this bedroom look like? Is it neat? Is it untidy? Is it one big bed? Is it a bunk bed? Is it a bed on the floor? Is it big? Is it small? Um, this is a room for two people. It's full of pink. Okay. And is a little tidy. Okay. And it's tidy. Good. And in this picture here? This is untidy. Okay. It's untidy. The Good. Clothes is everywhere. Yes. Clothes and things everywhere. Okay. Good. And this bedroom here? The bedroom here is not very fancy. Good. Um, don't fancy. It's just a bed on the floor. No, it's just a curtain on the floor and it's very tidy. Okay. Um, it's called a mattress. So if you have a bed, let me just draw a picture here for you. Okay, so here's your bed. So this is what's called a base. So that's the hard thing at the bottom, like this here. That will be your base. Then the thing that okay. goes on top that you sleep on, the soft thing, is called a mattress. Okay. <clears throat> okay. So this one here, they've got no base. 
So they don't have the big thing that goes under the soft thing that you lie on top of. So different beds have different bases. This here is wood because it's a bunk bed. But most yeah. bases is just a big solid block. And sometimes it's got feet so that you've got a little bit of a gap under your bed. Okay. okay. And then this bedroom here, what can you see? I can see that this room is tidy too. It is like in the top of the house. So it's, it's not very, very comfortable when we stand up straight for high people. Okay, for tall people. Yeah, it's have a... Yeah, it's got um that is called a slant. So the yeah, roof the wall slant. yeah, slant like that. So if the person is trying to stand, they're gonna hit their head over there. Yeah. Okay, good. Um now which room over here looks more like yours? Mm. Wait. Oh, okay. Um, the first one. The first one. This one. Yeah, but you just have one bed, not two. Okay, good. So you just have one bed. So you don't share a room with your brother. No, the bed is big. So my mom, my brother, and me is on one bed. Okay, your mom, your brother, and you share a bed. Okay. Um, what changes would you like to make to your room? Mm, the change I want to help to the room I want to. Uh, I think yes. The bookshelf is the larger to put because I usually have I I usually get hurt when I try to um find try to find the book or put it on shelf because it's a little like smaller than it need to. Okay, so you want to move the bookshelf? Yeah, it look big at first, but when I I charge my books on, it's it's full of place. Okay. Um, and when you go away, what do you miss about your bedroom? Hmm. What I miss about my bedroom? Let Do you miss, miss your bed? Do you miss the smell? Do you miss your mom and your brother? What do you miss about your bedroom? Hmm. I think I miss the blanket because the blanket is on the blanket on the hotel or someone else um usually is too light or too heavy or too cold or too hot okay good well done um i miss my pillow if i go sleep somebody somewhere else i take my pillow with me I cannot sleep with another pillow. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm some um in the house I don't I don't sleep in other people's house. So I don't know what the people like the people uh, the pillow like in the house, but in the um in the hotel is not hard, so I can sleep on it. But 
There is a problem of the hotel pillow is is too high. It's too high. Exactly. This is why when I go anywhere, my pillow comes with me. I have a very most people like a hard pillow. My pillow has to be soft and my pillow has to be like squished. My pillow is about this big. It's not a very big pillow. <laughs> me too. It's just about this, but it's how to soft. Yes. My I, pillow is I the can... same. Yes. And most people can sleep with any pillow. I cannot. I have to have my specific pillow. Okay. One is that pillow, two is not sleep, uh, not sleep with the pillow. <laughs> Don't sleep with any pillow. Okay. I can sleep right. with a pillow. But, but it's too hard or too high, it's hard to sleep. Okay, well done. At least you, you can answer that. Okay, and you understand what I mean by my pillow. <laughs> Okay, so now we need to, let me just find here, listening part two. So, okay, wait, it's not that one. Sorry, I'm just trying to find, they didn't label my audio properly. So I'm trying to find the right audio. Okay, this is what I was looking for. Okay, so let me show you what we're doing so that you can listen. Okay. Now, I just need you to tell me if you can hear Part me. 2. Exercise 3. Can you hear it? For each question, choose the correct answer. 1. You will hear two friends talking about the kind of flat they would like to live in. Wouldn't it be great to live right at the top of that block of flats, with views across the city? Nice views are fine, but I'm not very keen on lifts. I think I'd rather be on the ground floor. It'd be good to live in a building that's not far from a bus stop, too. Or an underground station. Right. But the most important thing for me would be to have my own room, so it'd have to be a three-bedroom apartment. I don't mind sharing with my brother. So two would be enough for me. Okay. Two. You will hear a boy telling his friend about changing school. I haven't seen you for a long time. How do you feel now about your new school? Well, before I moved at the beginning of January, I thought it would be difficult to make friends with people in my new class, but they've given me a really warm welcome. Of course, I'm a bit sad that I don't see anyone from my previous school, but there's nothing I can do about that. My studies seem to be going better than I'd expected too, so making the change hasn't been too hard really. Three. You will hear a girl talking about a trip to the beach. How was your day out? Great. The bus left early on Saturday, so I had to get up at 5am. But that meant we got to the beach really early. Did you go for a swim? Yes. I thought I would enjoy that, but it was a bit cold, so we hired a little boat instead and sailed round the bay. That was fun too, but not as much as having a game of volleyball. We're going there again in July, when it'll be too hot for beach sports but swimming in the sea will be wonderful. Okay. Four. You will hear uh, two friends talking about the town where they live. Okay, wait, let's it's just quite a pause that. Because here is our question. So you heard some of it. I'll go back if you need to hear it again. Okay, so there's six different di situations. So far, you've heard three of them. So with number one, mm -hmm. you will hear two friends talking about the kind of flat that they would like to live in. They agree that it should be on one of the higher floors, have at least three bedrooms, or be close to public transport. To be close to the public transport. 
What? Okay, good. Number two, you will hear a boy telling his friend about changing schools. What does he say about it? He finds the lesson hard. He still misses his old school friends. He thinks his new classmates are unfriendly. He still misses he still misses old school friends. Good. Okay. And then yeah, number three. You will hear a girl talking about a trip to the beach. What did she like best about it? A swimming in the sea. B going on a free boat trip. Or C playing volleyball. I don't remember. Okay, that's fine. Let's listen to it again be too hot yes early on saturday you will hear a girl talking about a trip to the beach how was your day out great the bus left early on saturday so i had to get up at 5 a.m but that meant we got to the beach really early did you go for a swim yes i thought i would enjoy that but it was a bit cold, so we hired a little boat instead and sailed round the bay. That was fun too, but not as much as having a game of volleyball. We're going there again in July, when it'll be too hot for beach sports. But swimming in the sea will be wonderful. Okay, so what did she like? She See, liked good. Well done. Okay, now we're going to listen to number four. Four. You will hear two friends talking about the town where they live. It's quite a good place to live, isn't it? I mean, for a small town. Yes, and it's probably about the right size too. In bigger places, there are problems like street crime, especially at night. But here you feel safe anywhere, really. That's true. Although everywhere you go round here, the roads are really busy. All that noise and pollution is horrible early in the morning. I know. I wish people would walk or go by bike instead. Okay, so what do you think number four's answer is? Hey, very good. It's There's too much traffic. They want people to walk. Okay, number five. Five. You will hear a boy talking to a friend about a shop. I don't really know this part of town. Where's the best place to buy a t-shirt? The little shop on the corner isn't bad. The range of things there is a bit limited, but just about everything is amazingly good value, especially if you compare it to the bigger shops. The one opposite the station? Yes, you can find almost anything you want there, but it always seems to be really crowded with lots of people waiting to pay because it's short of staff. Oh, thanks. I'll definitely avoid that one. Okay, this one's a bit weird. This one kind of has two answers. Okay, good. So, the, he spoke about two shops. So, the last shop he spoke about said um, there aren't enough uh, assistance. Yeah. And then the other mm -hmm. one he said... Amazingly good value, especially if you can... Not a shop. I don't really know this part of town. Where's the best place to buy a T-shirt? The little shop on the corner isn't bad. The range of things there is a bit limited, but just about everything is amazingly good value. Okay, when they say amazingly good value, they are talking about the price, how much it costs. So that's why I said this question sort of has two answers because they haven't told us what shop he's talking about, if he's talking about the big shop or the small shop. So A is correct and so is B because B says the prices there are reasonable. Where the okay. guy said the prices, yeah, says good value, which means, in other words, they are reasonable. Okay, now last one, number six. 
especially if you compare it to the bigger shops. The but it always seems to be really crowded, with lots of people waiting to pay because it's short of staff. Oh, thanks. I'll definitely avoid that one. Six. You will hear two friends talking about their homes. I like my room, though I haven't got much space for my things. Mine's about the right size, really. But I know what you mean. My cupboards and shelves are far too small. At least mine's got big windows, so I get plenty of sunshine. I do too, though it's a pity I can't turn the central heating up in winter. Does it get noisy? It can do at my place, especially in the morning rush hour. My flatmate complains about traffic noise waking her up too. But I'm on the inside of the building. So, I hardly notice it. Okay, so what do you think the answer is? Okay. The girl says her room would be better if. But it was quieter was her flatmate. It wasn't her. So, remember okay. she said she wishes she could turn the central heating oh, up. Okay. Okay, I I just see the quieter to to smaller or bigger. I don't know. I don't remember. No, she wishes it I, was sometimes I, I, warmer. Yes, because she wants to turn the heating up, which means she gets cold. She wants to make it warmer in the in her flat. Okay. <laughs> okay, so we finished that now. That's correct. Think of the three best and worst things about your place. <clears throat> Use the ideas below or your own. Work in small groups and compare the ideas. Okay, so work with me. Um, so here's some ideas that you can talk about. How big or small it is. Interesting places to visit that's around where you stay. Um, the people that live there. So like if you live in an apartment building, your neighbors, stuff like that. Um, okay. Traffic and public transport, how safe it is and things for young people to do. Okay. Okay, where I live, how big or small it is, is quite big and quite small i don't know uh for you is big or small <laughs> but i don't know it's kind of normal not okay. really big or another okay but think about it this way for you does it have enough space for your family uh, yes is okay. enough is yes, it ha is have is have enough place, but it don't have enough rooms. It's have place to put more rooms, but we don't have more rooms. Okay, so it needs more rooms. So it it's the rooms that you have are big, but the house is not big enough. Does that make sense? No, the house is make is big enough, but. We are just make two less room. Okay. We just have two bedrooms in our house. Although okay. is really is is quite big. Okay, so that's why I'm saying your the bedrooms are big, so the rooms in your house are big, but your house is too small because it doesn't have enough room. Do you understand? No, is it's a place to put more room, but oh, but but we don't put it in like that. Oh, okay, okay, I understand now. It's okay, you must enough, remember. But... Unfortunately, South Africa and Vietnam, their housing works a bit differently, so I'm not completely clued up with how your houses work. 
because what I've noticed is most of your houses are like double story for one house or triple story for one house. So your house isn't big <laughs> this way. Your houses are big this way. <laughs> okay. Now, interesting places to visit that is around your house, in your little city, in your little town, down the road. I go too much around here and now I feel it's borrow, boring all because I go is too much time. Okay, so you're used to the places that are around your, your area, so you, you're bored of them now. But... Let's just say I told you, I'm coming to Vietnam and I want to go sightseeing. Even though you bored of it, where in your area would be a nice place for me to go and visit? Okay. Um, I let's say about my CD. The cities have, you can say, a lot of cinema, but okay. it's just, but it's take place in the supermarket, not, um, not alone in a building. Understand? Yes, I. So the cinema isn't a standalone building; it's inside another building. Yeah, is it? Yeah, in my okay. city, it is just about four or five cinema, but but it's all in in another building. Okay. Yes. Some building. Yeah. We some are the is, same. Uh, Our cinemas are uh, in big malls. Yeah. Really, in the supermarket or the fun fair. Okay, mainly the supermarket or the fun fair. Our cinemas are usually in a mall. So a mall has hundreds of shops and they will usually have what they call like an entertainment area. So there will be like a fun land, you know, with all those games that you, you play, like those big boxes with the games on. It'll have the fun area and it'll have the cinema like right next to it. Yeah. Maybe ours looks like that too. I say the supermarket, but it's at the coffee shop, the bakery shop, the jewelry shop, okay, the bag so shop, blah, 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 the games, the, and, and some of the restaurant is have many places of a restaurant. It's the name of the restaurant. It can have many places. Some of it have, stand in that too most of the shops are like that okay yeah good that that is similar to south africa so if you come visit south africa you're going to know where the cinema is because you just look for the big mall <laughs> okay um the people who live there do you like the people that are your neighbors and live around your area or don't you like them yeah Sometimes I feel I like my neighbor more than my friends because <laughs> my friends, <laughs> I don't know why, but like my friends, sometimes like they are sometimes like, um, don't play with me in no reasons. <laughs> and sometimes like, I ask, they don't answer, or or I say hello, but they just say hello back. I don't know why. I know is some of them is have a problem, some problem at home. After that day, I just ask them, ask them, and I say, and they answer that they have a problem at home. I can see their every but. It sometimes maybe confused. Okay, yeah, especially if you don't know what you did and they're angry at you, you, you get confused. That's normal. Yeah. 
um one of my best friend is like um in uh in the morning we have five lessons right in lesson one to three he just not talk with me but it's usually she he usually he usually talk with me but in lesson one to three he don't talk with me in the lesson four I asked him why he say that that morning um her sister it is slower and he got school he come to school late and he's got angry <laughs> Okay, so he wasn't angry with you. He was angry with his sister. But, yeah. <laughs> just because one people, he angry with the whole world. <laughs> the, but some people are like that. I have one neighbor that does not like me and I do not like him. He always moans that my dogs bark, but he stands outside my yard and makes my dogs bark. Oh, does does that make sense? That's, no. <laughs> that's confused. That's confused. If you don't want my dogs to bark, don't make them bark. <laughs> and that's then my other neighbor that. is nice. He's a nice man. The other man is a very horrible man. <laughs> okay. So I'm I'm also sure he's cross with the whole world, but he takes it out on my dogs. Okay. <laughs> okay. Perfect and it is confusing. If you don't want the dog to bark, don't make the dog bark. But you make the dog uh, bark and then complain that it barks. Sometimes I see the dog, I want to make it bark. <laughs> no, I don't know why. <laughs> but then you don't go and moan at the owner and tell the owner your dog is barking. No. Exactly. Because, because I make them bark. There you go. <laughs> exactly. Sometimes I dance, I do something crazy to make them bark. It's not that hard. You just have to stand there and usually they will bark. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no. No. But at my hometown, at this state, um when you he when we go to the house, me, my brother, my two cousins are stand there, dance and um sing and blah 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 to make them bark. The adults are laugh <laughs> they can't they can't talk, they just laugh about it. Yeah. Okay. Traffic and public transport. How is the traffic in your, your area? How is the public transport? Is it down the road? Is it a very long walk? How is it? Um, this is a thing like a problem in Vietnam too. It's really less public transport to go like from home to school, from home to school, or from home to work is very, very less. Is usually taxi. Okay, is your taxi is like a. Or... Do you have a car taxi or do you have something called a minibus taxi? Car. The a car. car. Okay. Yeah. So like, just we call call it. We call it, and they answer, and they pick us too but some people is just take to that place too but we just take um each a car each a motorbike each a bike so it's make the road very busy okay let me show you what we have to give you an idea of taxis around the world okay You've obviously watched movies, so you know what an American taxi looks like. It's a yellow car with the big taxi sign. This is what we have as a taxi. Okay. Yes. So you don't phone it. They are always driving up and down, up and down, up and down. 
So you just walk out of your house, walk to a main road and stick your hand out like this and the taxi stops and you climb in. But you climb in with a bunch of people. Yeah, I don't know. That is our taxis. And our taxi drivers drive faster than ambulance drivers. Yeah. That's why I'm confused about our public transport. It's very it's very less of them. Less of them. Sorry. Um if I go to me to uh from my house to my hometown or to Hanoi or to Ho Chi Minh City, it's far away and is usually have have a bus to get us go and is the public transport but others we just use our own it's okay. people a uh, vehicle so it's make the the road very busy okay. sometimes i just late for school just because the traffic okay that that happens um and how safe is it how safe is your area your apartment your house it's safe it's very safe um my neighborhood just take the cameras in the road um we have some trees and they put it on the trees but i think it's put there for years but it's just don't don't get anything. And okay. yesterday at the math <coughs> class, I go and I I don't lock the I forgot to lock the um, the door the door and when at home it's just like that. My kitchen my kitchen light is on and it's just on. It's not off. <laughs> no people. Okay. Here, if you forget to lock your door, you're going to come home to all your stuff gone. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm just saying. I locked my doors, but I still came home to all my stuff gone because they came in through the window. You forgot to close the window. I did close the window. They broke the window. Okay. But my window is like this and we can't push. <laughs> okay. Give me two seconds. We're going to cut off now. Then we'll come back and finish this conversation. <laughs> okay. I'll see you okay. now.